Hello, here's Tushalech. Welcome to Art Journaling YouTube Hub. You can visit amazing artists YouTube channels and watch their great video tutorials and win prizes from our generous sponsors. My video tutorial is Mixed Media Art Journaling Spread. Why do you will be watching it? I will tell you a little bit more about our YouTube hub. The hub starts on July 18th and run for one week. There is no beginning and the end. You can start the hub at any channel and hop along in a loop until you reach the last channel. To be eligible to win the prize, you should visit all Black Hops stops listed below in description box. Leave comments everywhere and subscribe the channels. Winners will be chosen on a random basis. The very first thing you will see in the video description box below is the link to the next stop. Please do not forget to hop there after you finish watching my tutorial. The sponsors of generous prizes are Jogos.com, 7 Dot Studio, Colorcraft, Rubber Dance Stamps, Amol Studio, Viva Las Vegas Stamps, Mixed Media Place, Finavar, Link Deli, Aga Baraniak, Let's Crafty, Hora Projects, Prima Marketing, Lindy Stamp Gang, Scrap FX and Emerald Creek. Our YouTube hope will end on July 25th. The winners will be announced a couple days later on Karen Tanger blog. Please do not forget to leave a comment, to subscribe and to stop at the every YouTube channel listed below. I hope you will enjoy my video tutorial. All supplies are listed at the end of the video. As you can see, I started by creating the background for my art journal spread. I like the random effect one can achieve using sprays. I decided to go with violet and brown shades. The exact names of colors I have used are displayed on the screen. When I sprayed the background with Lindy Stamp Gang Moon Shadow, the airplanes created with 7 Dot Studio Stencil and Finover Gel Medium became visible. Now you can see 7 Dot Studio Stencil and another Lindy Stamp Gang spray. I love using texture paste through stencils because one can achieve really great effect. The pattern is a little bit blurred and that was my goal. Application is not as easy as it is with more smooth media, but believe me, the effect is worth it. I love Finovar products because there is a lot to choose from. During my video, most of media are from Finovar. There are several different Finovar texture pastes. The black sand I used is one of them. Finovar Heavy White Gesso is the one I love because of its thickness. It's absolutely fabulous to be used with stencils. Here you can see Amwell Studio line of Chevron stencil. Thick layer of gesso needs more drying, but it gives great texture and depth. Now you can see 7 Dot Studio newest line, Garden Party. I have used one of Garden Party tags and as you can see there is an awesome paper with butterflies. You can cut them out and use for almost every project. The background is white, so you can color them with almost any kind of media you wish. Watercolors, crayons, acrylic paints and many more. The name of this paper is Born. Now, you can see 
black thread if you have seen my projects you surely noticed i love using thread Finavar soft uh, matte gel medium is a perfect glue. Once it dries, it's totally transparent. I glued the thread and 7 Dot Studio Soulmates to board piece. Random stamping is also one of my favorite techniques. 7 Dot Studio Garden Party Clear Stamp Set was a great choice for my art journal page. Seven Dot Studio Garden Party die cut elements and element stickers are a perfect match for my spread. They are pre cut, so very convenient to use them. As you can see, there is a variety of shapes to choose from. For me, art journaling is a way of expressing my thoughts and feelings. It's a kind of um, safety valve. When something overflows me, it needs to find a way out. I love using quotes and words. My inspiration often comes from songs and I use lyrics in my art journaling. I mentioned in my previous video tutorials that I usually start creating without any plan. I just add textures, colors, elements and each step is a spontaneous act of creating. You can see it also in this video. I move elements, I check how they look and change things many times. Then I add new elements and the process is ongoing. Seven Dot Studio word stickers are one of my most favorite scrapbooking products. I know that I'm not the only one. A lot of scrapbookers love using them. 
I have a quite big collection of 7.2Dward stickers sheets and uh, I can find the quote suitable for almost any occasion. Here you can see word stickers from Garden Party collection. Now you can see 7 Dot Studio paper from the Garden Party collection. There are lots of cute elements you can cut out and use in your projects. I decided to use that cute egg. Finishing touch is some doodling with a white sharpie pen, pencil and black marker. Thank you for watching my video tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to leave me a comment and to subscribe my channel. A link to the next stop in our YouTube app is in the description box below that video.